Hello YouTube and welcome back to the next iPhone 5 video here. Um, so this time I just booted it up, hit the on off switch and now let's see where did I put the SIM card tray tool here and where did I put my nano SIM. And yes, you actually can build your own nano SIM from a standard or normal SIM, but let's check out the SIM card tray. Just try to open it. It's a little bit difficult, uh, but don't be afraid. You can't break anything. Um, here's what I meant with the micro SIM card. It's a little bit, uh, the chip is bigger, but you can even uh, cut something off the SIM chip, but not too much. So now a hard push and the SIM card tray will come out. And now there's a big question in which direction you have to put the nano SIM card on the tray. Actually, it should be easy, but um, <laughs> it can be hard. Let's see. Uh, after 14 hours in front of an Apple store, I'm not just that relaxed with this tiny little plastic thingy here. Ah, uh, come on. Can't be that hard to put this in here. I don't get it. This is the right direction. Put it through. And there we are from this side. Just have to be even. And now try to slide it. And yes, and it's inside. And there we go. There we have the locked SIM logo there. SIM locked. Insert a valid SIM with no pin lock to activate iPhone. No problem here. Just hit unlock. Uh, enter the pin number here. Shouldn't be a problem. 2096. I will change this so <laughs> don't get your hopes up. Pin entry successful. And there we go. I just switch the language to German here. <laughs> yes, but it's uh, always the same steps here, no matter what language. Region, Germany, of course. Now we search for our Wi-Fi. And let me connect this with my Wi-Fi here. So there we are back. Just enter the password for my Wi-Fi here. We're connecting. Next step, iPhone is activating here. Oops, this can take some time, but no, now it's asking about the GPS localization, no problems. And there's a big question. What will your iPhone be? Will it be a brand new iPhone? Do you want to restore it from your iCloud backup or from your iTunes backup via KUSB fire uh, lightning cable? I just hit iCloud. Now register it with your Apple ID. And after that, it wants you to check the license agreement. Of course, you won't read it, but you have no other choice than to accept it. Now, this will take some time. It will download the backup, uh, reboot. Oh, of course, you can first choose your backup. I just took the latest iPhone backup and it will, it will download it. It will restart, reboot a few, one or two times. So just give it a break. And when you are back again, don't be afraid that all your apps are missing and that you maybe get some, some warning messages here. This is normal. And if your apps won't work, don't be afraid. They are gray. As your iPhone is downloading them uh, all again. So this will some, take some time depending on your Wi-Fi connection and the number of your apps so this can take um, yeah just um, a lot of time if you have a full iphone here and um, let's see 11 26 and it will be done at and there we are back 12 33 so over one hour of downloading and installing apps and it's still installing the podcast app here. Uh, the things that really took time were the new Apple uh, 
apps that you can download directly from the App Store in one bulk. And especially iTunes University and iBooks took at least half an hour downloading and installing. And it's still not completely done. So I'm still loading uh, the Microsoft SkyDrive and the Speed, Speed Test app. But the other apps are all there. And um, it's smooth. iOS 6 on the iPhone 5 is running great. Uh, Twitter has already an update. Facebook has already an update, uh, update for the 16 by 9 ratio display. Uh, but let's check out Google+. Plus. There you can see the black borders on top and on the button here uh, that you will see in a lot of apps that won't have, that weren't uh, updated yet for the new iPhone 5 display. Uh, but um, I'm pretty sure that most of the apps will be done by end of next week here. So, of course, I will do in more videos about the new iPhone 5. Don't be afraid. Here's the iPhone 4S for size compression. Quick, we will do more videos with that. So, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. And bye.